welcome back to my channel. My name is Jill. I am a brand new reborn artist who has been taking you guys with me on my journey into reborning here on my channel. And can I even say that I'm a new reborn artist anymore? It's been like almost two years since I started, but I really do feel like I'm new. I've only made five babies. Olive is my second baby. Olive is my sixth baby. I'm still trying to find my style. I haven't really developed too many of my own techniques yet. So for those reasons alone, I definitely feel like I am a brand new reborn artist still. Fresh out the womb. Fresh out the reborn artist womb. Today we are going to continue working on Olive over there. The storm has passed, it's two days after. And let me show you how beautiful it is out there today, guys. Oh my goodness. It is so gorgeous here. <laughs> a perfect blue sky day. This is the forecast for pretty much the rest of the week and we love it. Anyways, let's start working on our girl. Olive over here. She's got some creasing done and warming layers and what else? Oh, some stork bites. So let's make her look a little bit more defined. I'm running out of time here, guys. I only have like a week left. And so I don't know if she's gonna get done. We'll see. <sighs> My daughter is right there. Hi! Hi! Okay, let's just start painting on her. What do you say? <laughs> Before we start to paint in, who wants to see the little babies? I mean, I know you guys have seen a whole bunch of them recently, but not with this good of a camera. I mean, now you can really see their details. Like, how amazing is that? You can see their Lanugo, basically. Whoa, that's crazy. Let's see, wait, I wanna see how much, how much we can really see of this baby. Whoa, that is so cool. I'm freaking out right now. What about Darren? Yes! Oh, that's so awesome. I literally die every time I see these babies, you guys. Like, I freaking love them. I love them. And you know when you put a new outfit on one of your babies and you're like, oh my gosh, you're like a whole new baby. That's how I feel like Darren is in this outfit. He's so freaking adorable in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so precious. in between layers. So now I'm starting on her second layer, not her second layer, but second layer for today. I did a bunch of creasing. I did more um, on her lips, as you can tell, to define her lips a bit. And I did her nails, which was complicated. I think my paint is like dried out a bit. It, it definitely leaked when I was transporting uh, them from my last home so I don't know what I'm supposed to do to like make it not so dry it out am I supposed to put thinner in there but then I feel like when you put thinner in it then it's like complicated it like messes up when I start painting it like messes me up if you know what I mean yeah that layer that I did earlier it took me a long time I spent a lot of time working on her lips and her nails I just really want to start working on her modeling because this girl she's she needs to have like realistic depth in her skin it's driving me crazy she needs to have real skin she can't have all these like defined creases and stuff and not have like skin skin because you know what I mean because right now she looking a little bit crazy uh-huh all right let's see what's next it's probably just more creasing Okay, so the next step is going to be some blushing. 
and that's going to be a lot of fun because it brings out her her details a little bit more like her stork bites and stuff but I think what I'm gonna try to do this time is not do as much stork bites and redness and kind of keep it subtle this time so we'll see what that looks like because I usually really like to go hard on the details you know let's uh try to keep it try to keep it under wraps I don't know if I'll have enough self-discipline for this. I don't know if I'll be able to control myself, but let's see. Ready, go. Let's go. in total of having painted uh, all of here. And as you can see, she's got her blushing a little bit more pronounced. So I feel like I was having a hard time trying to keep it under wraps. As you can see, she's got red cheeks, a stork bite, some on her eyebrow over here, and some redder ears. So, uh, <laughs> So my plan is to maybe like, um, like keep it at this level and do mottling and see what all of this looks like underneath her mottling layers because I think this looks good. Um, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to like go overboard. So maybe if I keep the blushing underneath the mottling layers it'll be more subtle and because usually what I do is I do this is like the base layer blushing and then I do mottling and then I do like even more stork bite enhancements and more layers of all the blushing and all that afterwards so I don't know I'm just trying to plan how I can keep all of that more subtle this time and not go overboard I think she looks cute though like Giving her the blushing is really making her look more realistic for sure. Like this compared to her blanket is already amazing. She just needs to have some more skin depth. So I'm really excited to do that. I really hope that that's what we're working on today. <laughs> Hey guys instead of me recording painting her mouth I just went ahead and did it and I'm just gonna show you the finished results it was a lot of stop and go paint then bake multiple layers so it's just easier to do it this way and um, as you can see inside her mouth she has like her little top gum exposed and she even has taste buds which I did not even realize that she had taste buds until I started painting her mouth and I was like whoa this kit is so intricate I did not notice that and I think it's really cool so now that she's done with her mouth we get to work on her mottling yay and now her skin's really gonna pop and then I'll be able to make her lips more defined which it is just bugging me, like having the inside of her mouth done, but not her lips. So I really need to do this modeling so that I can do that afterwards. And then she's gonna look amazing, you guys. <laughs>
so I've done, da, 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 I've done um, six layers of mottling today. I've done one skin layer. I've done a little bit more blushing on her face, just very subtle. And I did, what, like four different bakes just on the mouth alone. So sh I've been working on her all day today, and it's like 7 o'clock now at night. So I'm going to wrap up today. And, you know, I was trying really, really hard to get her skin to be different looking than, like, this, the bottom ring right here. Because that's when you can start to tell if her skin is starting to, you know, really look like skin. And it wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't much of a difference at all for like pretty much all day. And now finally, after my like seventh skin layer, is it starting to change and look a little bit different? So I feel like I can finally stop for today and pick up where I left off tomorrow. So, sorry I didn't film any of that, but <laughs> I was just like in the zone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey guys, so we are on day six of painting beautiful Olive here. And as you can see, she just now is starting to get a nice skin tone uh, versus what her uh, little um, <clears throat> neckline piece here is. What, what do we call this piece again? She's finally starting to come around as you can see as you can see she's just now starting to get a nice uh skin tone with some depth to it versus her little neckline piece here she definitely needs a few skin layers because i feel like she's too pale and i really don't my personal taste is i do not like the pale babies i like them with more color so i think i'm gonna give her a few warming skin layers and i think i'm probably done with the mottling for now um this time when i was mottling the baby i tried to make it so that her face wasn't as mottled um, so I did some mottling around her neck and kind of around her face and under her chin. Um, but I really didn't do a whole lot of mottling. Like I didn't want to model her head too much and I didn't want to model her face, but I did model the limbs because I've seen in a lot of newborn photos or photos of newborns um, their limbs are always the most modeled right so that's what I left the modeling to was mostly the limbs and so that's totally different than what I've done before and I think I'm liking it guys Let's see, can we see her lips there we go oh my goodness I mean her lips are not done at all I have I haven't even worked on them hardly it's inside her mouth that I'm trying to show you guys right now and you can see the taste buds. Isn't that crazy? And her little gum there. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> hey guys, I think it's day seven of painting Olive. I'm kind of losing count to be honest. <laughs> but yesterday, as you can see, she got a ton more detailing. I got the skin tone down pretty good. Uh, I even gave her a little mole on the side of her head there, as you can see, which babies can be born with moles, just so you know. I think I Googled it once and the results said that babies aren't really born with moles, but I saw my friends, kids, newborn photos and that baby had a mole. So I know that it can happen. Anyways, uh, this wasn't to cover up a mistake or anything. I just thought that she could use a little mole on the side of her head and that it would be pretty cute. And I was correct. So she's looking really good. She's got a lot of details. I was having a really hard time uh, not giving her the details. Um, but now I really want to try to um, warm her skin tone she's a little bit too pale for me still and then maybe give her some capillaries and lanugos oh and i got yay i got her eyes today so we can put her eyes in that's gonna make 
a whole world of a difference looking at her with some eyeballs in her head and <laughs> she won't look so scary and um yeah you guys we're getting pretty close to finishing her so i'm really excited i've the last two days i've been painting her non-stop literally like from <sighs> from like 10 in the morning until 7 at night. So let's try to perfect her skin tone and finish her details today. What do you say? Okay guys, this is her now. I just gave her a warming layer, haven't baked her yet. And I also threw on some, um, some little splotches to like break up her skin and to make it look more realistic and imperfect as you can see. Um, She's got like, you know, little like specks on her cheek. And I even went in the corner of the eyes um, and tried to make that look like what the corner of your eye really looks like. <laughs> um, and give her some more definition to those cute little lips. Um, yeah, and so now I am ready to bake this girl. Hopefully she looks this good after she's done being baked. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys can tell much of a difference, but I have uh, made like her nostrils, her mouth, and her ears. I've added shadowing to them, so it looks like you can like see the hole in her ear. Her nose, nostrils look like holes. Her mouth even looks like there's, you know, it goes, it opens up and there's depth to it. And I kind of like did some shadowing around her eye and stuff. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I sure can and she is looking good. Oh, and I reddened her cheeks. So she's got some cute little red, red cheeks and I did some red kind of around the head too. So it's not just all one solid color because that really bugs me, there needs to be like shadow and depth to the skin so now we're gonna go bake her and then i'm gonna put her eyes in so i'm really excited for that part <laughs> okay so check it out i ordered from mcpherson's um ba -ba 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 -ba. some eyeballs <laughs> I got two sizes. I got the size that they say Olive needs and then a size up because in my personal experience, I like the bigger eye in the baby. Um, but I also don't know for sure what it's going to look like, so I got, got the one that they say anyways. And the color that I got was... Newborn gray. So newborn gray is the most realistic color that a baby has because I think that most babies are like born with this color and then it develops into their true color a little bit after after they're born within the first maybe nine months I think Google told me. But you guys also voted for newborn gray. I think it was like closer to 50% or something all said that we should do newborn gray for Olive. And then I also, I don't, I'm not saying this is for Olive, okay? But while I was out purchasing stuff, I bought some Surrey alpaca hair because I'm pretty sure this is the kind of hair that like my prototype, um, Martin by Jacqueline Creamer, I think. They use Surrey alpaca. Something about alpaca, it's like so silky and soft and it's my favorite hair on a baby so I really wanted to get some. I've only ever done, uh, what did I use, Slumberland. But this, this alpaca hair, there's something about it. I'm pretty sure that mohair is like goat hair and this is like alpaca, llama, right? So um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, McPherson's was like out of every color except this reddish brown color so I just grabbed it because I want to use it on somebody okay let's go get Olive out of the oven and put some eyes in her <laughs> Ta-da! okay so this is the smaller eye and this is the larger eye what do you guys think 
I think it really depends on the kit, um, which I would fit better. So let me look at this doll. Yeah, so I think that the larger eye looks better than the smaller eye. I feel like the smaller eye just makes it look like a doll. And then the larger eye just gives it more realism in it. I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. What do you guys think? This kit, she's very doll-like. Her features are very cutesy doll-like features, like her little mouth and stuff. And so I definitely feel like the big doe doll eyes works for her. So here she is with both bigger eyes in her and I am thinking that she's looking amazing. I love how she is turning out. She looks so cute. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're excited for Olive, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.